CAPTCHA is a powerful tool for distinguishing between human and bot traffic. How does it work? And is it possible to circumvent it? Let's find out. While it's still possible for us humans to deal with CAPTCHAs, bots have difficulties cracking them, and it becomes a significant issue when we're trying to gather data from the internet. This tool became necessary because people started using bots for harmful purposes. To perform a DDoS attack or send spam, for example or to buy tickets for a hot show in bulk to resell them at a higher price. In most cases, when we deal with CAPTCHAs, it's reCAPTCHA, a service provided by Google. So only if the system is suspicious of you, it'll ask you to perform an action to prove you're not a bot. Sometimes it's an image or just a simple checkbox, but robots can't pass this test. Why? It's in the way we move our mouse. A human can never move a cursor in a straight line because our hands are always a bit shaky. ReCAPTCHA has also evolved to the point where it doesn't need any tests to understand you're not a robot. First of all, we should note that modern CAPTCHAs are based on artificial intelligence themselves. That's why it's rather ironic yet logical that the very same artificial intelligence is used to let bots solve CAPTCHAs. Image recognition helps robots see the same patterns we do. So, by adding an image recognition tool to your scraper, you can help it avoid getting blocked by CAPTCHAs and enjoy smooth data gathering. However, as we've mentioned, reCAPTCHAs detect movement patterns and cookies to understand if they deal with a bot or a human. That's why there are different libraries that let you provide a scraper with data needed to mimic a real request. Yet, if you let your scraper run without proxies, even all the fancy add-ons won't do much because all requests will come from the same IP address. And that's a clear indication of robot activity. To address this problem, use residential proxies for effortless data gathering to automate IP switching and make sure websites don't become suspicious of your scraper. Residential IPs are an ideal tool if you want to bypass reCAPTCHA. Emphatica's rotating IPs belong to real users, and they are rotated every time the given IP is no longer idle. There are many solutions how to prevent reCAPTCHAs where Emphatica IPs can also come in handy. A user can start with sending requests using data center proxies and then route it to real or residential IPs while crawling sensitive pages. This method can ensure higher success rate and also decrease costs of using exclusively residential proxies. Another way is to send requests with a different geotargeting. For example, you can change IP from one location to another when scraping an e-commerce website for product pages, which can work to overcome reCAPTCHA. CAPTCHAs are definitely a big obstacle to efficient data gathering, and that is why it is important to constantly improve your methods to prevent and solve them if they appear. More tips on scraping and using proxies are available at Emphatica blog. Check them out!